go. In 45 days now, I'm going to be setting off from here, Shanghai, China. And five months later, I plan to arrive back here, home. And so the journey began over 10,000 miles across 17 countries during a period of five gruelling months, it came down to this moment. Glad it's over. Um, the reception is absolutely fantastic. It's great to see so many friends, um, so many friends, family, and new friends. By the looks of it, um, I'm tired. I'm ready for bed. But um, yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. This, I'm glad the challenge has achieved what it's supposed to. It's raised money and it's raised awareness. Andy Nolan saved the um, young Charlie Ferns' life a couple of years ago, and ever since then we've just been trying to raise as much money and as much awareness as possible. If people weren't on the red and if people weren't raising money, then Charlie probably wouldn't be here today, so we carry that thought with us all the time. It's absolutely incredible, the turnout today, and the, the challenge that he's taken on, cycling over 10,000 miles over five months uh, on his own, is unbelievable, and we really don't have the words to say how thankful we are to him. It will have a massive impact. Um, just looking a minute ago, he was over £17,200 and it costs £100 to put one person onto the register. So that's allowed us to put more than 170 people so far on, any one of which could be a life-saving match for someone with a blood cancer or blood disorder like leukaemia. And Joan, how proud are you of your son? Oh, amazingly proud. Where's <laughs> Charlie? Can't tell you how much. He's just... He's, he's blown me away. I never imagined he'd do anything like this. I thought it'd never come this day. But it's been amazing just following him. I'd have been worse in the worst days if it wasn't for the internet and being able to follow him and everything. During this arduous five month journey, Andrew regularly blogged about his adventures with pictures and video clips to allow those keeping track and update on his progress. With so many obstacles and countries to cross, it was an experience he simply couldn't forget. But what exactly was the greatest challenge he had to face during his time on the road? I think cycling through the Turkmen Desert when it was 57 degrees heat and it was just, there was no escaping it. And you've got a camp, you've got, I had to cycle for 24 hours at one point covering 220 miles and I just didn't see anybody. I had to carry, I think, 15 litres of water on my bike at one point. So yeah, it's just, it's hard to describe how difficult some days are, but when you come home and you see people like this, yeah, it makes it all worthwhile. Now, it's a bit too soon to ask, but is there any other challenges that you're thinking it of doing is, next? It is. I've had, well, I've had five months to think about my next challenge, so I think 12 months from now I'm going to set sail from Africa and try and row across the Atlantic and hit the northern tip of South America. Again, obviously, for Andy Nolan. He's saying his next venture is then to go to Africa. I mean, what do you make of his uh, incredible challenges? I'm going to break his arms. <laughs> He's not rowing anywhere. Regardless of whether or not his mum warms to the idea of another steep challenge, Andrew Rogerson, better known as the Cycling Scouser, will continue his affinity for daring adventures and continue to raise money for Anthony Nolan, a charity so close to his heart. Nathan Griffiths, Beatty for Liverpool.